We are on day two of Nobel Prize week for the physics prize. Macroscopic quantum tunneling was the winner. We're going to dive in. We need to understand something called quantum tunneling. So if we have like a classical particle yes. and you have like a brick wall and I like throw stuff at it, it's going to bounce right back. In no world is a ball ever going to go through. Mm -hmm. In the quantum world, that's no longer the case, right? You can have a barrier and then have a single particle go through. And this is something that you can solve just using the Schrodinger equation. You'll have a probability that that particle goes through the barrier. Notice that on the right hand side, the wave function is highly diminished. Yes. So the probability of finding the particle on that side is way smaller than finding the particle on the left side, which makes sense, right? Yes. I'm going from the left side. So the probability of tunneling is low. Yes. But crucially, notice that the waviness of the of the wave function on the right mm -hmm. is the same as on the left, mm -hmm. meaning the wavelength hasn't changed. Yes. And what that means is the energy hasn't gone down. Right. It's almost as if the particle just teleported through, through without this actually. energy barrier. That's very not classical. That's the that's the magic of quantum mechanics right. there. Right. Okay. So quantum tunneling has always been um, something that is well known, but it's been well known for small numbers of particles, right? What this year's Nobel Prize winners did was experimentally confirm quantum tunneling and quantum behavior for like on the order of a billion individual mm. particles, all acting together and quantum tunneling together. Interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah. so it's That's it's several orders, orders of, of magnitude, magnitude above that sort of undergraduate level understanding like problem sets that we used to do right right in 1978 anthony leggett started asking well can i make a macroscopic tunneling experiment happen where the entire circuit Was is a quantum machine machine. right that's the idea right. right and the entire circuit is made up of like 10 to the 9 things right and can all of those 10 to the 9 things mm -hmm. move as a single quantum object mm -hmm. right. john clark became a professor at uc berkeley he was joined by Michel Devore and Jean Martinez. And they start asking if they can create a superconducting electrical circuit with a Josephson junction that has this property, where billions of these Cooper pairs, 10 to the 9 um, particles, are acting like a single quantum particle. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Can we do this? What you can see is a, a photo from their paper, which was in the physical review. And this is the one that like, you know, finally won the Nobel Prize. We love to see it. Right. And you love to see that experiment um, theory confirmation uh, it, it, happening. And uh, um, this was in the 1980s. And John Martinez, Google poached him uh -huh. from UC Santa Barbara. And so I bet Google's um, like press is going to like have a field of how day. They're going to have a field day. 